I'm Craig Summers, naturopath and nutritionist. Our topic is the mineral iodine. Iodine was classified as essential back in the 1920s. I think it's safe to say that practically everyone who has studied nutrition knows that a lack of iodine will cause an underactive thyroid. But now there's a plethora of scientific evidence showing us what else iodine does for us. And if I hadn't seen the studies with my own eyes, I would find all this rather hard to believe. Every cell in our body needs iodine to function properly. The white blood cells of our immune system cannot function properly without adequate amounts of iodine. Even our sweat glands need iodine and will not function properly when we are deficient. This leads to dry skin. Neither will our salivary glands function properly. That means we would experience dry eyes and a dry mouth. Iodine deficiency affects approximately 2 billion people around the world and is the number one preventable cause of intellectual disability. It is crucial that both the fetus and the infant get enough in the first three years of existence or the central nervous system will not develop properly. According to Dr. George D. Fletchus, MD, adding a good iodine supplement to a pregnant woman's diet will produce a child with an IQ of 20 to 30 points higher than the parent's IQ. A good iodine supplement will contain both iodine and iodide. Like other minerals, Iodine comes in several forms. Potassium iodide and sodium iodide are the salt forms of iodine. Some organs only absorb iodine and other organs only absorb iodide. For example, only iodine will absorb in the prostate and stomach, while iodide will absorb in the salivary glands and skin and the thyroid. This is why we should not take a supplement that contains only iodine or iodide, but instead we should consume a supplement that contains both. One example of a supplement that contains both iodine and iodide is Lugol's iodine. Surveys conclude that numerous pregnant women in the United States, while not showing signs of iodine deficiency, obtain insufficient amounts of iodine. Dr. Fletchus also states that a mild deficiency in the early years of life will manifest as attention deficit disorder. The World Health Organization, United Nations Children's Fund, and the International Council for the Control of Iodine Deficiency Disorders recommend an iodine intake for pregnant women of 250 micrograms per day. However, the average intake is much greater in some parts of the world. For example, the average intake of iodine in Japan is considerably greater at 13.8 milligrams per day. Many clinical nutritionists agree that we need considerably more iodine than the minimal amount that the World Health Organization and other organizations are suggesting. These nutritionists also agree that the RDA was set to prevent goiter and does not take into consideration all the other bodily functions that require iodine. The absence of iodine in a cell may allow cancer to form. The protective effect of iodine against breast cancer has been well documented in Japanese women who consume iodine-rich seaweed and have a low rate of breast cancer. Iodine is known to induce apoptosis in breast cancer cells. A decrease in the incidence of death rate from stomach cancer after supplementation with iodine has also been reported. Researchers have found a correlation between iodine deficiency and gastric cancer. And the list goes on. The lack of iodine can also lead to hearing loss and deafness, according to Mayo Clinic. 
Research suggests that iodine supplementation might be helpful for the treatment of fibrocystic breast disease. After a nuclear accident, iodine supplementation may save your life. PCOS may benefit from iodine supplementation. Iodine is required for synthesizing thyroid hormones and is an integral component of them. When a person is deficient in iodine, hypothyroidism occurs. Symptoms may include mental slowing, depression, fatigue, goiter, weight gain, and low body temperature. Estrogen inhibits the absorption of iodine. That is why more women have underactive thyroids than men. According to the National Institutes for Health, the best food sources of iodide and iodine are sea vegetables. I eat sea veggies from the Atlantic Ocean, such as dulse and kelp, on a daily basis, and also consume a number of other ocean plants, such as arame, hiziki, kombu, and wakame, on occasion. I suggest that everyone find a source of iodine that works for them and to be conscious of your intake. But since iodine is a brain stimulant, it's not advised to take your iodine before going to sleep.